Good evening, my name is Sandy Dixon. I live at 824 Burning Tree Lane in Plano. I'm here on behalf of myself and the 4,057 people who signed the petitions asking or demanding a vote on the Plano Tomorrow Plan. With deference to Mr. Taylor, who was paid to advocate for his client, I differ with his opinion on several points. I also differ on the opinion that we needed your permission to be able to file the petition. First of all, a comprehensive plan is not a zoning ordinance, and we'll beef up that argument in our petition for writ of mandamus. Second of all, we do have the constitutional right to bring this matter to a vote of the citizens. This matter has been addressed by Texas courts since as early as 1938. It is a constitutional question which calls for a balancing of the rights of the voting public against the needs of the governmental officials who have to enact the laws that are passed by the people. The Texas courts have set out a bright line test which has been repeated in many courts both in Texas and in other states around the country with similar statutes to interpret. The test says that legislative ordinances which can be put to the public for a vote are those that relate to subjects that are more general or permanent in nature and include an ordinance that is originating or enacting a permanent law or laying down a rule of conduct or course of policy for the guidance of the citizens or their officers. Well, that sounds an awful lot like the comprehensive plan. You compare that to the type of ordinances that cannot be brought for a vote by the voting public, such as a zoning regulation, those are ordinances which are administrative or executive in nature and merely put into, exec into execution previously declared policies or law. Now that's a zoning regulation that depends upon the comprehensive plan to be able to be made. One sets out general policies, the other puts into place those general policies. Finally, there was mention in the same case in 1938 that ordinances that require minute investigation of facts and figures or application of expert, skilled, or technical knowledge cannot be put forward for a vote. But you know, the comprehensive plan, there is nowhere in the Texas Municipal Code that requires that a comprehensive plan have facts and figures or minute knowledge or expert opinion. You, cities are left with the ability to make a comprehensive plan as a as the city wants to make it. And I know from being in many of those meetings that the comprehensive plan was not based on specific and expert opinion. It had some opinions and some surveys and some things to be left to the future. But we can argue about all that. We'll provide more support in the writ of mandamus petition. We had hoped that our city officials would listen to us and give us the right to vote. We don't know what, is so, what the city is so scared of. If you think this is right for the city of Plano, then give us the right to vote on it. And if it's not right, why don't we get together and take it back a step and figure out what would work for the citizens. So. Thank you. Thank you. Thank for your you. Time.